They say the Netherlands stole land from the sea. But the real story is smarter, quieter, and more engineered. A third of this country is below sea level. The only reason cities like Rotterdam exist is a lattice of dikes, dunes, pumps, and surge barriers that treat water like a clever opponent. Let's start with the myth breaker, the Meeslandkering. Two steel gates, the size of Eiffel Towers, floating on massive arms. Most days they rest open, letting ships pass. But when a North Sea storm hits, the gates swing shut. They flood with ballast and sink, sealing off Rotterdam. It's a door the ocean can't shoulder through. This is part of the Delta Works, a necklace of dams and barriers stitched across river mouths after the catastrophic 1953 flood. Some barriers stay open to preserve ecosystems, closing only when the math says, not today. But dikes are the backbone. Imagine a green hill that's actually a layered machine. Clay to seal, sand to shape, and grass to armor. Engineers scan them with radar and fiber optics, checking for tiny shifts that hint a molehill could become a failure. If water sneaks under, relief wells bleed the pressure before it can burst through. Behind the dikes are polders, basins lower than the sea, drained by pumps that never really sleep. Old school windmills started the job, now electric screw pumps lift rivers uphill every day. It's a country perpetually bailing out its own boat, on purpose. But here's the twist. Sometimes the safest defense is surrender. The Room for the River project moves levees back and carves overflow channels. Instead of making walls taller forever, they give water a place to be powerful without being catastrophic. The myth says the Dutch beat the sea. The reality is they negotiate, using physics, data, and a little humility.